Can a humble photo frame double as a powerful satellite speaker for a soundbar and a standalone Dolby Atmos enabled wireless speaker? If it's the Samsung Music Frame, the answer, without a doubt, is yes. Hey everyone, it's Simon Cohen for Digital Trends, and we're here at Samsung's facilities to check out its 2024 home theater products. We got a very small sneak peek at these products when we were at CES 2024, and we liked what we saw, but now that I've had a chance to spend more time with them, I'm impressed. Before we get to the music frame, let's quickly acknowledge Samsung's 2024 The Frame TV. Its standout feature is its ability to give you an art gallery experience when you're not watching TV, but it's also a pretty great TV in its own right. Below the frame is Samsung's newest flagship soundbar, the HWQ990D, an 11.1.4 channel Dolby Atmos unit that, based on its predecessor's performance, is almost guaranteed to be one of 2024's best soundbars. With Samsung's Q-Symphony technology, the TV's speakers can augment the audio going to the soundbar, which helps voices sound like they're coming from the screen, not the soundbar. And that brings us to the new Samsung Music Frame. If you didn't know any better, you'd swear it's just a regular photo frame. And it kinda is. It holds any 8x8 or 8x10 photo or printed image, and you can swap it anytime you like by removing the photo holder from the body of the speaker. It attaches just like a standard speaker grill with four ball and socket rubber mounts. But under that awesome dog photo are two tweeters, two mid-range drivers, and two subwoofers. Together, they pack a real punch, and boy, can the music frame get loud. I was really impressed by how much low-end bass those subwoofers can pump out. The music frame can play stereo sound with decent stereo separation, but it's also one of the few speakers that can stream Dolby Atmos music directly without the need of a third-party accessory like a streaming video player. You really need to hear how it handles Dolby Atmos music. Even though it doesn't have dedicated up-firing height drivers, the music frame creates a cone of sound that radiates outward in all directions, creating the kind of immersive 3D soundstage that Dolby Atmos is known for. You can use it as a Bluetooth speaker, but thanks to its Wi-Fi connection, it also supports Chromecast and AirPlay streaming, as well as Spotify Connect and Tidal Connect, so you can control it straight from those apps. If you're using Tidal, the music frame lets you hear Dolby Atmos music, making it one of the few wireless speakers that work with Dolby's immersive audio format. But the really clever feature on the music frame is its ability to join the Q-Symphony party. If you have a compatible Samsung TV, you can send sound to two music frames. And if you have one of Samsung soundbars, like the Q990D, you can add a single music frame to the mix and place it anywhere in your room. I got a chance to play Dolby Atmos versions of the Beach Boys' Pet Sounds and Dire Straits' Brothers in Arms, and they both sounded fantastic considering the size of this compact speaker. The Samsung Music Frame comes with its own angled stand, as you can see in this video, but it also has a standard threaded mounting hole so you can wall mount it instead. I didn't get a chance to hear how wall mounting affects sound quality, but given that the subwoofers are on the back of the speaker, I expect there will be some audible differences. On the other hand, thanks to the Music Frame's built-in SpaceFit sound room tuning feature, the speaker should be able to automatically compensate for a variety of room positions, including wall mounting. Speaking of control, the Music Frame is compatible with both Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. This means that if you already have a smart speaker, you can use voice commands to control the playback on the music frame. Plus, you can add the music frame to the Google Home and Amazon Alexa apps. It also has a built-in Samsung SmartThings IoT hub, and in fact, all of the music frame's features and settings are controlled from the SmartThings app. I gotta say, I've loved what I've heard so far, but the real test will come when I get to try these speakers at home. Hopefully that will be in the near future because I can't wait to see what they can do. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.